Hello, friends. Host Eric here, host talking to trans people. As you can see, we're all set up for bath bomb making. I never made a bath bomb before, but Kimberly assures me that it's perfectly safe. That's the most of the scissors can really be. As you can see, Kimberly is now opening the baking soda. This is ingredient number one of the bath bomb process. You're going to take one of these. It's a cup. How many cups of baking soda do you put into the bowl? The last one. Yes. Right. What I'm going to do here is you can have me to copy it and set this out. Thank you. And then we're going to add it out over. A little bit dusty. From the. Okay. Okay. You know what I do? Uh, you gotta pick up it. But it's nice and sturdy. Awesome. Jumping up and down. Nice. Well, good. We can begin jumping outside the game camp. You too. You too. All right, Kimberly, how much of this first ingredient? Two cups of baking soda. This is a one cup cup. Is it flat on the top or yeah. rounded? Yes. Okay, so if you know about baking, you know it could be keeping or it could be regular. This is regular. That's almost one cup. Is that the right bowl? That's the wrong bowl. Yeah, almost one cup. And that's about a cup. But just a little bit more to make up the difference there. A little more than that. And then that much. Okay. One cup of citric acid. This is citric acid? Okay. Be careful with this. It's made out of citrus fruit. One cup's worth. It has enough acidic quality to take down the Peruvian army. So you gotta be real careful with it. Now, true, the Peruvian army does have especially high sensitivity to citric acid. And when I say take them down, what I mean is to the Paradise City. <laughs> the grass is green. And the girls are green. So, so there's some citric acid. Obviously it's a block of it, and it shouldn't be a block of it. It just... So you do that. That. You're gonna need to get a little bit more. So I'm gonna do that in a can first. That's good to eat, folks. It's good to eat. Okay, that's about a cup of sister. Okay, now we're gonna put this cup right into here, right, Kim? Yes. Up here, up here, it goes. I'm going to break up the little chunks. Let me show you guys the excitement here on uh, Bath Bomb Cooking Nightly. It's the new hit show. This is citric acid and two, two cups of baking soda. One cup of citric acid. I'm now folding I'm gently, gently folding. 
I'm gently folding back your folds. Gently fold with gentle folds, okay? What do you think? Note of the gentility of my folding as it's critical to the success of the bath ball. It is. Next. What happens next, Kimberly? Five tablespoons of Epsom salt. Five tablespoons of Epsom salt are on the way. There's one medium sized bag of Epsom salts. Probably one pound of Epsom salts. But we need how many of them again? Four tablespoons. Four tablespoons. So, if you don't know what a tablespoon looks like, it looks like none of those. Can you grab me those right there? Thank you, Kimberly. T B no T L no T B L T B S P. Yeah, a tablespoon. This is a tablespoon. Not to be confused with T S P, which is teaspoon. It's the B that makes the difference. Five of these. Yes, Kimberly, I am hurrying on. I'll probably have to add this a little long way to one, two, three, four, five. Five tablespoons. What's next? One human poop. One medium human poop. If you're not sure if your poop is medium, measure it. Right, measure it against the spatula. If you measure from the blue end and it stays in the blue, it's small. Measure from this one and it stays in the brown, it's medium. And if you measure from this one, it goes into this one. It's hard. Okay, so everybody's back. We're mixing. We're folding. Alright, now we're going to put some of this coconut oil in. How much coconut oil goes into this bomb? Any lumps. No lumps at all are permitted within this powdery mixture. As you've heard, Kimberly. You're not me really helping. <laughs> I am folding. <laughs> not helping. I'm commentating. You can commentate. That, you can get that out of here. Is that not helping? Yeah. No. Okay, well, we're going to take the spatula away from Kimberly's hands so that they no longer interfere with her important uh, work. What I'm doing here is I sort of guiding the design of the bath bomb and Kimberly's just uh I'm gonna ask you some of the details here. Okay, Kimberly, check my secret recipe again. What's <laughs> what was my next secret ingredient? Oh. oh it was coconut oil. Yeah. How much coconut oil goes in? Well I'm telling you a little more coconut oil than it says. What does it say? It says very little, but we need more for it to be moist. Okay. So does it say very little or just given the amount? We're checking to see how much turmoil this is good. These ones, can we said, need to be moist. Because, of course, they are for newborn babies. No, they're not. They're not for newborn babies. <laughs> they're for older children only. No. Not for older children either. <laughs> <laughs> they are 18 and over. Like No. Nope. <laughs> they're for children of all ages except newborn babies. Yes. Okay. Children and adults of all ages, except for newborn babies. One ounce of coconut oil or other light body oil. One ounce. How many cups is an ounce? Or how many tablespoons is an ounce? Well, I'm using more. Remember I told you? I do remember. I do remember you suggesting that, Francis. So, I'm just going to do like just two my own flavor. Can I put it in one of this and this? 
Yeah. One. Try not to give it a lot. How many more? Two. Two more and two's over. Just two total and we'll see what that does. Okay, we've added coconut oil. Can we grip it a little bit? 30 um, drops, but I'm going to just pour some in there. Uh, what is that stuff? This is the essential oil called baby powder. Baby powder, okay. You'll note she's using her hands to mix. I washed them just now. She washed them, of course. It is soap. So. Or whatever that matters. Um, it smells very silly, and it smells very baby powdery. The essential oil, you can really, you can really put the, the, uh, baby powder smell. There's no confusion about it. <laughs> um, okay, now that you more or less begun mixing these things together, it's starting to get a little bit lumpy again. It's not lumpy, it's getting moist. Can you put another couple of coconut oils in there? Okay. Go so, after this step, we're going to work fast. Okay. What do we do? Okay, so you're going to take the molds that I have, those little baby molds, and not those, those. And you're going to make balls, mm -hmm. like you're making meatballs, mm -hmm. but you got to work really fast or else they get dried up in there and they won't release. This is the tricky part. Can we try to put a little coconut oil in here? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Just put a little finger Yeah. Can I put my finger in here? Yeah. Okay, so at this point, it's going to spray water, and you can't spray too much because you're worried about how it will bubble up. Okay, so, don't spray too much water. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's get the, okay, let's get the scene of the crime here. There we go. Now we're ready. This is where I need you to help me out. Um, we got to make as many balls out of that one mold. Okay, and where do I put them after I take them out of the mold? Very gently on that thing. That, but make sure that you leave enough room for all of them. I have several. Right. Hold on. Okay, Really fast. Oh, yes. oh. Very fast because it dries really fast. Oh, yeah. Why, you want it to have a little rain? You want it to, you kind of have to put, keep pushing. Yeah, I made one. Yeah, the other ones I
I'm gonna call I'm gonna call these ones bull scoopers. It's my patented name for them. Okay. You're wasting them. What do you mean I'm wasting them? What? This is dumb. Okay, that one was my first one. Here. Give me a chance to work it out. Little scoopers are gonna do the head. Okay. They already have a great name. It's called Lil Scoopers. See? <laughs> They're little scoopers. Oh my god, the cat just destroyed the bathroom. <gasps> she did, huh? Mm -hmm. That's okay, I can salvage this. So, after the first fire, the little scooper factory. There's the red. I'm not. I didn't really detect it. Little scooper. You can do three sets of the little scooper at once. Oh, no! Get off the deck. I can't do a triple blast to a little scooper. Emily, are you afraid when we get that everyone's going to want the little scooper? Yeah, I'm just going to go down and make the noise. I'm wasting it. I'm wasting it. Scooper one. This is two. And of course, last but not least, little scooper three. Now what you can do with little scoopers, you can't necessarily do with a regular bath bomb. You can stack yourself a little scooper sandwich like this. Now that's a bath bomb for the ages. It's a little temple. It's a little mushroom. You see that? Ooh la la. I am so jealous of Marjorie. She got the little scoop of sandwich. Now you're going to see some real little scooper architecture. <laughs> 